Hello everybody, it's a, well, not particularly well John today. I've got a touch or getting over a touch of the flu. But today's video, we're going to have a look at my small collection of AT43. Now, I cannot recall if I've ever played a full game through. I may have attempted to play it, uh, but for me, I guess it was uh, something that interested me from the fact that most of the figures were were painted. There was uh, another version called Dust, which I must admit I was really interested in. But again, the prices here in Australia were ridiculous. You really did have to have quite a bit of disposable income to uh, to be able to afford AT43, even though it really did appeal to me. So I was lucky that I was able to pick up a lot of my AT43 fairly cheaply. and um, But yeah, look, if you've played it, let me know what your thoughts are. So let's get on with the rest of my video. Hello everyone, it is John with a rather raspy and deep voice at present as I'm recovering, I think, from the tail end of the flu. So my voice is not quite what it is. But <clears throat> I was looking, I haven't posted anything for quite some time and I thought when I was doing a little bit of a clean up just before I got sick was... Um, AT43 and I was collecting this years ago and it is literally years ago because this set of rules was produced in okay we're going to get a do we have a date here uh, 2007 <clears throat> so it has been a while and uh, I'm quite happy that I've got I've got the core rule book. Let's see if I can put this down without destroying anything. So I've got the core rule book. I've got the UNA army book. I've got red block. Uh, the Therians. Uh, the Cogs. And uh, the Carmens, which I was quite pleased. So I've got all the uh, well the army books for all the stuff that was produced at the time and uh, so they are there oh god they're in fairly almost pristine condition to be honest but i <coughs> initially bought them purely for their vehicles because i thought oh, i can use the vehicles in so many so many different games for uh, any sort of beastie i think who we were doing um um, 40k role playing. So the um, what was it? Uh, Inquisitor and and Death Watch and Rogue Trader. So these were perfect for sort of alien contact type creatures. So you know, again, a decent enough paint job for a start. And if you really wanted to go in and and fix it up or add more embellishment, it has that possibility. So yeah, that was. Uh, and these squat little guys, I quite liked. You know, they were sort of like, oh, look, I've got myself some cheap dreadnoughts of a sort. But uh, they're very nice figures. This is, I think, the uh, whatever the main creature is for the... It needs a good dust, too, uh, for, the, uh, for the Therians. I think that was the one that came in the starter box, I'm fairly sure. Actually, most of this stuff here is from the starter box. I have no idea what I've done, actually, with my uh, with the rest of my vehicles, because uh, I think I had some more. Ah, that's right, I've got them. They're in army boxes, which I may find eventually. But, again, these are quite nice. And uh, these were quite sought after for uh, gaming additions. For, for many people, for uh, for the uh, cargo containers, they were very nice. So, and the fact they stack up well. So this was uh, not quite sure what the Damocles initiation set was, but uh, it's I guess a small and in multiple languages. So English only up to a certain point, and then we s switch to so many others. It did, I think, for the for the Damocles. Oh, sorry, not Damocles, but for the starter box, you had everything set with a uh, predefined map. 
which is quite good. I should actually get around to getting this laminated, to be honest, because I can use it for so many, so many other things, uh, role playing in particular. So, uh, but yeah, so that was the map, and uh, again, my memory. I, I can't even say that I've played this game. I don't think I have. I may have attempted it with a with an old friend, but uh, you know the uh, <coughs> the figures were were all pre-painted, so you know they uh, weren't. I don't know if I'm going to get that into into focus that well. Uh, it doesn't want to. So I apologise for my poor camera camera skills, but they are, you know, quite quite good. So they were the Therians, uh, of which there were a fair number of different types. I was thinking they'd make fairly decent um, Necrons of sorts, and uh, so that's those. And then there were the UNA, which were the uh, humans, and. Uh, you know, fairly decent, to be honest, for uh, for painted. So I was quite pleased, quite pleased with those. So that was uh, my collection. They had some nice little bits and pieces. These, um, not sure what these were meant to be, but a uh, nice odd bit of terrain to have knocking around the table. So. Uh, then you had some, they produced these barricades, which came with the base set, so they were, you know, nice and, nice and solid-ish. Anyway, so, but yeah, so that's, that is the Therians and the UNA. Now, what I was able to get, and as I knock my camera out of position again, as I said, I'm not a professional by any means. The cream of what I have are the Carmens. So there's a whole heap of other bits and pieces, but the Carmens were so nice in my opinion. The uh, the gorillas in battle suits. So I've got a fairly large collection of them. Their uh, their vehicles. I really did like their their flying vehicles that they had. Again, perfect for any role-playing system or, or skirmish game that you were looking for. So, you know, and then there were these others that uh, were quite were quite decent. A little bit on the, the dodgy side at places. But yeah, that's you know, so uh, so pleased to have picked up these. So I must thank a friend for having allowed me to have these so they are a very nice very nice very nice figures so that is the uh, I guess the loose collection of AT43 now the other sets continuing on from just a moment ago I had to go find these I eventually found them these are the battle ready 2000 point army boxes. So I got the cog because I thought, oh, they look a bit like Tau, they'll do nicely. And the uh, large vessels or vehicles that they had were, I thought, were quite good once I can get this on properly. So it fits in in here somehow. If I can get it to fit, I don't want to break it. But as you can probably guess, that fits in there. There's your, <coughs> there's yourself a, a battle suit of some sort. So that was, that was quite nice. So you got that, got a large one of them. Then you got a smaller um, battle suit, which I thought was, was not too bad. So a lot of the parts do move, which is fairly decent. So you can get a bit of. I guess uh, adaptability, posability, if you like, with your your models. So then, of course, I ended up with a whole heap of extra barricades to hide behind. Then they give you these these other aliens, which or other cogs, you know, the gunslingers with the well, that's what they call them, gunslingers, slingers. 
you got your own, you got your, uh, oh, it won't open, oh, it's, <laughs> I've had it for so long it's probably seized up because it's a fabric, oh no, there we go, so that's its, uh, its tape, so not sure how that works, lots of nice dice, and of course you've got a, uh, <coughs> the uh, a template, a tactical, a tactical manual for the cogs, the rules of the game, so they are there, and then you had another uh, terrain map that you could, that you could fight over, and uh, is this double sided, or just one? Oh no, so it is, it is double sided, so there's a two sided, two sided map, so that's, that was what that consisted of. So uh, <coughs> the uh, end result. Oh, I like a monster. So it's a quite, um, you know, quite decent aliens to use for whatever, whatever system. You know, even if I got back to sort of wanting to try and play AT43, at least I've got a decent selection here of models that I can engage or play with, I should say. So that's the cog box, which now doesn't want to, oh God, I'm not, as I said, I'm recovering from the flu and I'm not 100% there yet. So, but yeah, that was the content of the, the cog. Stick this in here. Yeah, so that's the that was the cog army, and then I picked up as well was uh, red block. So the red block again was uh, a two thousand point. So I was quite pleased, you know. I had the red block and the cog. So there we go, two armies that I can play with, and uh, <coughs> dice the. Uh, I said I really do. Now I'm not sure what's the front and what's the back on this, but uh, it fits in one way or the other. I'm not sure if that's the correct way, but uh, there you have the red block big tank, I guess. And then I just really, really like these these smaller ones. So his legs a little. Skewy probably needs just a little bit of a glue down, but as I said, so good that you can use it literally for anything, anything else game wise. So I could, you know, have him posed forward and bring his gun ups. Not quite sure how he's supposed to, uh, how he's supposed to be represented, but as you can see, I've uh, got that. Same with the uh, with the cog box. There's the stat sheet, the rule book, and I believe another another map underneath. To uh, yeah, so there's another there's another map under there for specific to the theatre. So the figures themselves, what have we got? We've got these chaps, stealth suits or something, helmets. Not quite sure, but. Uh, Again, they're sitting here, they're reasonably well painted, they're good enough to do, you know, to play a game either in AT43 or I can quite easily use them in other, in another game system, particularly say role playing. So, uh, and these are the characters that they had with them. So no, fairly well, fairly well done in my opinion. So yeah, anyway, there you have it everybody, that is... Having a look at AT43. So, I can't remember if I did another video of this. I may have, in which case I've just gone and done another one. Look, I'm an old man. I'm <coughs> forgetting what I'm doing. So, there we have it. AT43. If you've played it, let me know what your thoughts are. Because I'm, yeah, I just like the figures. They're good enough to use in anything. So, until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.